Hi, I'm Josh Garman with TJ Snow Company. Today we're going to talk to you about our advanced HMI with resistance welding track and trace. This package brings together all the components of the welding system in an easy to use interface. It also monitors and stores key parameters for each weld. Now let's look at some of the features. Instead of modifying weld programs in the weld control, we can modify them directly on the HMI. You can see the parameters are displayed in a simplified graphical format. The weld force is also programmed on the same screen. To change the setting, you touch the number, a keypad will appear, modify the number, hit enter, and save your program. If you want to add multiple impulses, the graphical display will change when you add the impulses. If you want to enable current monitoring, you can click here and then set your high and low limits down here. Since we're going to be welding projections, the machine has the ability to monitor stack up and set down. Here's how to teach the set points. First, we'll need to choose machine setup, put it in manual mode, then choose weld gun number two, M8 nut. Now we'll load a part, hit extend gun number two, the tips will come down on the part, and then we'll hit teach stack up. Now we're ready to teach set down. So next we'll need to initiate the weld so it fires and sets down the projection. Touch the teach set down button and then save our data. We'll retract the gun back up. At this point, you may want to check the parameter limit ranges and adjust them as needed. Here's an example how to select a recipe and weld parts. The machine has three recipes, an M6 nut, M8 nut, or both. I'm going to select the M8 nut for this demonstration. To change recipes, you'll need to go to the machine operation screen and choose auto mode. Now you'll scan the appropriate barcode sheet for the M8 nut. Now you're ready to make a weld. Confirm the machine is in auto. TJ Snow's optional track and trace system provides the ability for the data log to have a unique part tracking value stored with each record. On this machine, the parts are serialized using a unique barcode. If this level of tracking isn't required for your application, you still have time-stamped weld data available. The M6 and M8 parts have a different prefix in the barcode, so we can confirm the part matches the selected recipe. I'm going to scan the part. The green light's going to start to flash. I'm going to load the part. The green light's now going to go solid, and the initiation light's going to come on. After the part is welded, the light will flash yellow, indicating that you need to remove the part. Now let's look at the parameters captured from the last weld. The machine operation screen will display current, force, conduction, stack up, and set down. You can also see the barcode assigned to that weld. There's a short-term weld data log screen that allows you to quickly review data from the last 100 welds on the HMI. There's also a long-term data log that stores 30 days worth of data in an Excel-friendly .csv format. A new file is created every day. The data can be viewed and downloaded through the Siemens web server or from the SD card in the PLC. Faults are indicated with the stack light, tooling light, or via the HMI. Here are a couple of examples. If the wrong part is scanned, the tooling light will flash red. If the part is loaded in the wrong fixture, the light will flash red and a beep will sound from the stack light. Process faults will give you a visual indication of where the fault is on the HMI. Here's an example of a nut loaded upside down giving a stack up fault. The operator will have to acknowledge this type of fault from the HMI. The maintenance screen includes counters and visual indicators that show the status of each system required for automatic operation. The machine I.O. status screen allows you to view an overall map of the I.O., then click on the item and see the status of each input and output. Machine gauges provides a visual indication of all pneumatic and water flow circuits. The documentation menu allows you to display machine prints and manuals directly from the HMI screen. Thanks for watching the Advanced HMI with Resistance Welding Track and Trace video. For more information, give us a call or contact us at tjsnow.com.